Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I am not doing lamb for Easter. Look what I found in my freezer. Digging down in my freezer. Thought I had some lamb racks in there, which I didn't. But I got me a nice prime rib here left from Christmas time. Beautiful, beautiful prime rib. I remember I had bought a couple of them while they were on sale. They were like dirt cheap. Not dirt cheap, but for Christmas, you know, they always have them on sale. And I always get them while they're on sale when I get a deal and put them in the freezer for later. I originally was going to smoke this one outside and do a video. I said, no, best thing I can do is take it and make me a prime rib edit for Easter. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show y'all, <coughs> excuse me, how to make a perfect prime rib. Not that it's nothing fancy, nothing difficult. Perfect medium rare. That's why I like medium rare. 135. The temperature is, uh, yeah, internal temperature. Hold on, y'all. Just one second. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, what I was saying, yeah. Uh, I like my prime rib medium rare, slightly medium. So I'm going to get it up to 135, no more than 140. And I like to use, uh, as I showed y'all in a previous video, I like to put a thermometer in there while it's cooking. This one will go right into the oven. You can buy these maybe 10 bucks, 10, 15 bucks. I get this in that Bed Bath & Beyond. In any store has them. You can get them in hardware stores. You just stick this in the center of the meat. I'm going to show y'all later. And put this in the top of the oven. And then this will close the oven. This go right into the, y'all can see it, huh? It'll go right into the, which I'll show y'all this later when I finish here. First thing I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to uh, coat this, heavy coat this with seasoning. You're going to think it's a lot of salt and pepper, but it's not, y'all. I wash this prime rib down. And what I like to do, start on the bottom first. And all I use, y'all, is kosher salt. And I use lemon pepper. I don't use white pepper. I use lemon. I like the, the, the way the lemon pepper the taste gives it, it gives it the lemon. And you're gonna poke, coat this on here really, really good, y'all. Don't think that you're putting too much cause it takes a lot, a lot of seasoning on here, on this prime rib. Some people think, oh, that's a lot of salt. No, 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 no. You'll, you'll, you'll thank me later. You just coat the salt on there, y'all. Somebody already calling for prime rib. They know I got prime rib today. They calling, put their orders in, y'all. Like I said, y'all, one day I'm gonna make somebody YouTube famous. Okay, put a little bit more on there. We're gonna make sure that really coats in there good, y'all. All that seat, that's the only seasoning that it had. And it has to really penetrate the meat, y'all. Really has to penetrate the meat. Okay. All right, now we got that seasoned. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our sheet pan over here with the rack. And we're gonna do it bone side down. Bone side down, y'all. Y'all with me here. And I got my oven preheated to 450 degrees. I think I missed some right here, didn't I? Missed a little salt right here, y'all. I miss nothing here. 300 and 450 degrees right now. I'm gonna cook it 450 degrees for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'm gonna turn it down to 325 degrees. Hold on, y'all. I make myself notes with prime rib, and make sure I don't get it right or wrong. Yeah, I reduce it to 325 degrees for about two and a half hours. This is almost a four pound rib roast right here, almost five pounds. So it's gonna take about three and a half hours to cook, two and a half hours to cook this. I want it to be medium rare, which is gonna be 135, no more than 140 degrees. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my thermometer, I'm gonna stick it into the thickest part of the meat. Get in there, right in the middle, thickest part of the meat there. I'm going to stick it in the middle of the meat, and then it's going to give me a perfect reading. And then I'm going to take my thermometer here, got it on. I'm going to set it to 135 degrees. There we go, right there. Start 
start start that's it right there see 135 degrees that's why i want it to be it's gonna do all the work for me you don't have to stop and and look and and check and all that no this thermometer does all the work for me so i'm gonna step off stick it in the oven like i say this is an easy video y'all I'm gonna put it, you're gonna see it when it come in, you're gonna see it when it come out. There ain't no peeking in the oven, checking, nothing like that. You don't have to. The thermometer gonna do it all the work for me. As long as I gotta do is just look at the time in 15 minutes and remember to turn the oven down in 15 minutes. Other than that, ain't nothing I got to do. So, anyway, y'all, we will be right back when this is ready. Be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I just took this out. And I cooked it a little bit longer than I normally do. I'm torn for about medium this time, y'all. Because I'm going to share with my neighbors. And a lot of them don't like medium rare. So I cooked a little bit more. So I went up, instead of 135, I went up to 141 on this. Now, what I'm going to do here, y'all, I'm going to let this rest. You can see what the thermometer was and the blood's kind of coming out. I'm going to let this rest for about 15, 20 minutes, y'all. And after it rests... I'm going to come back, I'm going to take it off the bone, take the bone out of it, and then I'm going to uh, slice it up, and I'm going to show you a nice, beautiful piece of medium rare prime rib. But it's very important to let it rest, to let all the juices go back inside the meat. If I cut this meat right now while it's hot, the juices are going to run like crazy everywhere. You don't want to do that. You want the juices to go back inside the meat, and uh rest a little and then you'll have a nice beautiful prime rib so anyway y'all i'll be back in about 15 20 minutes we'll slice this up and taste how good it is old school prime rib for easter we'll be right back all right y'all we are back here okay y'all we're gonna cut these bone off this thing here take it here and i'm gonna go from the front here y'all I get as close to the bone as I can. Just like that, y'all. Just like that. Turn around here and get the other side. There we go. Okay, right here on the cutting board. And this bone is absolutely amazing, y'all. The bone is absolutely amazing. And I like the... Like I say, the outer part of the the rib is definitely going to be more more done than the inner side. So if you're at a steakhouse or something like that, if you want medium, you know, medium or whatever, they're going to give it to you from the outside. If you need rare, rare is going to be closer to the inside. So we're going to cut us a nice slice here. I'm going to show you what we have here, y'all. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Let me show y'all here. Turn around here. And I got my plate here with a baked potato already, y'all. And I'm not gonna cut that fat off there or nothing. See that? Look how pretty that is. See that? Perfectly medium rare ribeye. See that? Let me, let me uh kind of clean some of this blood here off of here. Let me put it back on my rack here. Right here on the rack. Get this board off right quick. And I'm gonna step off here, y'all. Do that famous YouTube thumbnail. And I'll be right back and we're gonna test this little uh old school prime rib for Easter. We're gonna test it out here and we're gonna give it a try. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Let me show y'all here. I already showed y'all fair. Look at that. Perfectly medium rare prime rib. That's the only way I can eat it, y'all. I know most of y'all might want them, your prime rib, well done. They're just ruining an expensive piece of meat. I'm put a little sour cream in my baked potato here, y'all. I gotta have sour cream on my baked potato. Sour cream on my baked potato there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's give this prime rib a little taste here. Oh, it's nice and tender. Oh, yeah, look how you just cut through there like butter. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that taste there. Mmm. So tender. And flavorful. That salt and pepper that I put on there. Okay, y'all. 
いくらうんうんうんのベイクタイルをてうんグッドイースターミオヨーアカセイアムナーラレアムパーソンウィングループオンレアムラチョウグループオンビーフヨーうんうんうんワオグッドイースグッドイースグッドイースグッドイースヨーウォーエンウェイレミジックアカセイ Media rare is not for everybody. Some people still in the old way of got to be well done and got to be medium well. But most prime real rare, medium rare, maybe medium is the way to go. If you're cooking any more than that, you're totally cooking the flavor out of the meat. So let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.